Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to customize or personalize the Windows 11 taskbar. In Windows 11, taskbar settings and also Windows settings, the official app is changed. So in this video, we're gonna go through the main settings and which settings we can use to personalize or customize our taskbar in Windows 11. First of all, I'm just gonna right click on the taskbar in an empty space and then I'm gonna click on taskbar settings. This is gonna open up the new settings app in the personalization section in the taskbar section. First of all, up here we have taskbar items, show or hide buttons that appear on the taskbar. Here we have three buttons that we can turn on or off. We have search, which is turned off right now. If we click on this slider to turn it on, search will appear in the taskbar. This is again the same for task view or widgets you can turn them off or on wherever you like. Next, we have taskbar corner icons. Show or hide icons that appear on the corner of your taskbar. Again, we have two options, two buttons that can appear here in the right side. We have the pen menu and we have the touch keyboard, which is this new keyboard that can be found on Windows 11. Again, turn them on or off wherever you like. Next up, we have taskbar corner overflow. Show or hide icons that appear in the taskbar corner overflow menu. Basically here, you're gonna have a list of your apps or some apps which you can select to have them showed here in the right side in the system tray. If I'm gonna go and turn off OneDrive, as you can see, it will be turned off from here. And I can do the same to other apps or options that are here. So far, as I've tested, some of these are a bit bugged because this is only an early build of Windows 11. I'm sure that Microsoft will include here all the apps that are installed. And uh, of course, the apps that support system tray notifications and stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. We now have taskbar behaviors, taskbar alignment, badging, automatically hide, and multiple displays. What I like about this new settings app is that all the settings are well categorized. It's very simplistic. It's a very minimalistic design and I like it very much. We have taskbar alignment and here we have two options. We can either have our taskbar icons in the center of the taskbar or in the left. Personally, I like the new look of the center taskbar alignment, so I'm gonna leave it on center, but you can do whatever you want. We have automatically hide the taskbar, which is the same setting that we had on Windows 10, Windows 7. Basically, the taskbar will be automatically hidden when we are not using it. We have now show badges, unread messages counter on taskbar apps. This can be a very nice option for mail clients or Discord. You can see on the icon, the number of unread messages or notifications. If you have multiple monitors, you can select show my taskbar on all displays. Now, as I've tested, it is pretty bugged again on this section because as I said before, this is only an early build of Windows 11. And also when using multiple displays, show my taskbar apps on all taskbars, or you can select a certain taskbar, let's say the taskbar that is on the default display. And also we have hover or click on the far corner of taskbar to show the desktop. If we click here on the far corner on the right side, we will see the desktop. If we click again, the apps will be maximized again. Now, other things that we can do to our taskbar is to customize the colors. And for that, we're gonna have to go to personalization, but in the general section, and then go down a bit to colors. And here we can select whichever color we want. We have to be on the dark theme, note that, you will be able to change the color only if you are on the dark theme or in the custom mode of the theme personalization Windows 11. Now I'm gonna select a custom color, this one for example. As you can see, it is again pretty bugged. It's a bit laggy when you're doing this. You have to wait a few seconds in order for the taskbar to be changed, but make sure you have show accent color or start and taskbar turned on because this is the only way the color will be applied to your taskbar. You can also create a custom color by clicking on view colors and here you can select whichever color you want. For example, this one and I'm gonna click on done. Wait a few seconds because it is a bit laggy. This is a thing that of course Microsoft will work on in the following builds of Windows 11. I'm sure about that. And also down here, if you click on more, you have other options. You can create a custom color color using RGB values, red, green, and blue. And also you can have a hex value that you can use if you are a Adobe Photoshop user or other programs that use these values. I think you know what I'm talking about. Now, if we go again to personalization and if we go to colors, we can 
also customize the transparency effects. If we turn on this, we will have a transparency effect to our taskbar. This is by default turned on, but of course, if you like it, you can turn it off and you will have a um, solid color in your taskbar. In my opinion, it is way better with the transparency effect, but of course that's up to you. On accent color, you can go and select automatic and that will automatically select a color based on your wallpaper and we'll use it of course on your taskbar or on your windows borders wherever you want, and that's pretty nice in my opinion. So this is how you can customize or personalize your taskbar in Windows 11. I'm hoping that I went through all the important settings. If I missed something, don't forget to let me know down below in the comments, and also let me know down below in the comments what's your opinion on this new settings app and on the personalization of the taskbar in Windows 11. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.